Strike out five. Hope you guys enjoyed that short little break with uh, some retro music. I was telling Tyson Oskaka that song, Unwritten, was actually uh, our high school prom song. It's like a, it's a goodbye to all the seniors. So that kind of brought back some unwanted memories because I was a loser in high school. That shouldn't really. That doesn't really surprise many people. <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised. At least in terms of Hearthstone people, you're like one of the oh, thank cooler, you. cooler thank guys. You. I mean, it's kind of like uh, one of those things where you know some people, some some people have like fat friends, so they look more attractive to them. Oh. It's kind of mean, but some yeah. people actually do have that philosophy. So, uh, yeah, I look pretty cool compared to Hearthstone players. It's true. Thank you, Oscar. <laughs> Not compared to you, though. Oscar <laughs> is one of the coolest of the cool people. Uh, actually, I got a chance to hang out with Oskaka, you know, on a more serious note. I got to hang out with Oskaka a few days ago, and Oskaka was just talking about how there's just, like, only two players in the world who know how to play Hearthstone correctly. And even then, they're not even perfect. And uh, obviously, I, you know, I consider Oskaka to be one of those two people. <laughs> so I am curious <laughs> to see uh, how many mistakes these players are going to be making. And I want to go ahead and, well, and take the sh and be the shield for Oskaka. Okay. Because if he's going and criticizing players, it's okay. That's what we're having him on mm -hmm. the couch to do. So, right. by all means, let's get into it. We're actually already into the game, and it's Zoo versus... And I see the first mistake Cthune already. Druid, Cthune Druid. I see an Argent Commander in Zoo. Or oh, where does this one come? Well, so yeah. far it has to discard something. Six was playing the list without, like, without the token base. Like, there's no Sea Giant, no Ritual, no Councilman. And it's actually not even power whelming in the deck. It's just playing Soulfire and some oh, wow. other interesting cards like mm. Lance Carrier and stuff. Yep. Lance Carrier, Young Priestess comes I to mind. I believe it's also in the deck, yeah. Yeah. The old school zoo. Some might call it the Rainad zoo. And so, I think Rainad so, calls it so that. What is the it's reason to do, so what is the reason to do that? Like, why do you want to <laughs> make it not to the tokens and play like Argent Commander? What Magic are you doing? Or what are you trying more? I mean, I'm not really sure. I prefer yeah. the other builds, but. Um, I guess it could be like with the ban, maybe like you ban you ban the mirror. I guess that's yeah, you what, ban that's warlock. Exhibit, so then you don't mind not having tokens, and it's, maybe it's better against warrior, better against like ravaging ghoul and stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's also like really fast on like you don't really life tap that often because when you play like the power moving list, you're going to be life tapping a lot since you're often trying to. Uh, not only fill out the curve, but also like sometimes holding out the power overwhelming to get for better usage. In this case, you're often just like playing your hand very and being really aggressive on it too. At 601 with it at Star Ladder, so maybe he's kind of feeling it too, based off just like the recent results. And it's also a little bit different, like a cool take. We haven't seen Lance Carrier in a while. Oh, yeah. Lance Carrier coming here. in here actually. So late going with a really fast start already with the uh, wild like wild growth into yep. the cartoon into the druid. So it's really for six, so uh, a bit hard to pick up on that uh, tempo. I mean, divine shields with lance carrier is actually really freaking annoying. Uh, if you think about having argent squire upgrade to a scarlet crusader level of power, it's uh, and that gets to hit multiple turns in a row. It can also like catch people off guard who haven't like either who don't expect it or have just haven't played against this deck before. Yeah, it That's might nice. not be. Playing around it properly. Yeah, Soul Fire just uh, nabbed down that force. Like we said, man, Argent Commander, you discard it wow. almost every time with Soul Fire. He is even buffing up the Squire yeah, here over the 1-1, one, one, where the 1-1 one, one could trade into the Cartoon's Chosen and you save her Imkung boss. And it, this doesn't even play around Swipe, really, because you're just, yeah. it's still full clear with Swipe. So instead of an Imkung boss, you have the 3-1 now. It's a read. Instead of a 1-1. One, one. That's what we call in Hearthstone a read. He says you don't, have, yeah, you, that you don't have swipe. Yeah, but swipe clears the board here still. Yeah, say so that you don't have swipe. He's saying, I I know you, Zelay. Okay. And you know you. And you know wow, that I know you, that you know that's, you. That's really deep, Farlan. That's really deep. And that you don't have swipe. Okay. Yeah. I get that. Right, Oskaka? It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Approval from the world yeah. champ himself. <laughs> Is it to, do you do you just remove or do you just like plop this dark air code? Jam the yeah, talk. it's like it's the best at turn six. You have nice turn seven still. You don't really know what to ref here. Like ref is nothing better than maybe. I mean, all the other cards in your hand all cost seven, so mm -hmm. you know, kind of both curve wise and I think just general game plan wise, you should just play the taunt. Do we have an opinion from the jury on Yogg-Saron being included to a Cthune Druid? Isn't that kind of sacrilege based off the old gods and who you worship? It feels a little incestuous, if you ask me. 
I mean, if you play already like refs, living roots, wild growth, swipes, like there are just you mean a spells. Lot. Yeah, that, that you play in every druid deck. Yeah, okay. but that is already like if you get in York for let's say between six and ten spells, uh -huh. you're. I mean, what are the differences? Like you don't play Raven Idol. You might not play Mulch or like Soul of the Forest. You don't play as many nurses, probably. Right, one nurse. I mean, I think that, and you probably agree that with this, like the Yog is already kind of borderline, mm -hmm. even in Yog Druid. Yeah, yeah. You could just not even play it in Yog in Token Druid, and then, you know, it makes a little bit less sense in mm -hmm. Katoon mm -hmm. Druid, but it might just be that Zelaya just wants to meme. It's definitely a possibility. He's True. definitely a memer. Call me old fashioned. I mean, I could be uh, outdated in my philosophy, but I kind of like my old gods to have their own separate bathroom stalls. I feel like Yog and Druid, <laughs> Yog and Cthulhu uh, don't exactly mix. Like vodka and cranberry. I think it's better if you just kind of keep uh, Yag away. But I have heard some players really like this, particularly on NA ladder too. I know that um, like ah. Silent Storm and New Ability, like the the players within the Chinese uh, American practice groups, they really like stuff like the the Yag and Cthulhu Druid mm -hmm. working together. I think it's actually kind of like the best list. Uh, not pretty, just even check for Pretty tunnels. interesting to not use the ref there, taking the extra damage, but ref is just a really strong card in general uh, against Zoo. Like, you can always use that of removal, so maybe he wants to keep going on it. Hmm. Well, that's, that, that's convenient. That die wolf, <laughs> uh, <laughs> convenient, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Perfect bust on the Jason minions for the clear. Good play, Oskaka. Yeah. Great good, good draw as well. Approval from the world champion. I like <laughs> it. Oh, there it is. Well, I mean, this turn is already really good. Yeah. I, hopefully he draws not another 10 drop next turn. Otherwise, that card that he's going to draw... But can here's we like find the question, play? Tice. When do you play Yogg, if mm. ever? Not in this game. Maybe not you just pass on it. I mean, Katoon is just going to win it on himself, I would say. Seems like it, because uh, Zoo is just not nearly dealing enough damage or grabbing the board fast enough to overwhelm the opponent. But uh, this is... Ooh, a little bit of a weak draw here now, considering that you have nine mana and you draw one mana card. How do you use his Living Roots? I actually wouldn't mind maybe even making the tokens. You kind of... How sure are you that you will Cthulhu next turn? It's 12-12. I will probably just remove sure. this Void Walker. There's, yeah. a, there's no way that... There's no cards that your opponent can play that yeah. makes you not want to play Cthulhu. I would kill the Void Walker then, and just go with the Cthulhu next turn, leaving a 1 HP minion up, so she'll be really good. Man, what does Zoo have in this deck that can yeah. really flip it? It says a lot about Zalay's hand, that they are either 10 drops or innervates, <laughs> or maybe a while ago. You just, like, pass on turn 9 yeah. with two cards and used one mana. Yeah. All right, so Cthulhu should clear this board. Oh, there is also a Raven Idol. Makes the, no. makes the Yoka make a little bit more sense. Well, and I don't think if there actually, is BGH, go. <laughs> if um, he gets like a corruption. Does it make some sense to play BGH? Nah, it doesn't. No. <laughs> I was yeah. like, with the Lens Carrier, you can also like buff 5 attack yeah, minions. Yeah, you're but right. It's true. A 5 mana 4 2. I mean, it's like the, the, the Argent Commander, right? Yeah. Without the Defiant Shield, so. I'm Basically. telling you, man, Archie yeah, Commander exactly. is like the new Draxxus. <laughs> just discard it every time with Soulfire. Yeah, but you can play every card. If you want to have a strategy to discard with the Soulfire, every card is viable. You're right. Yeah. So is he wrong? Uh, no, he's not wrong. He's genius about the idea. Yeah, there you go. The real genius is to play Fist of Draxxus. Yeah. Fist of Draxxus, Soulfire, Doom Guard synergies. I like it. I'm kind of sad that card, uh, didn't really work out nearly as much because that card is really cool. I love this card. Still, it's a really strange strategy to like try to discard. Well, you I mean, red. strange strategy to use your life tap mm -hmm. a lot. Oh, I don't think that's a really strange uh, strategy at all. Interfade my keeper, one of the strongest opening you can have because you kind of develop a minion by still playing the wild grove at turn two. It's better than just going wild grove all the time. Interfade bot my keeper. Oh, does the nurse change anything from Sixo's hand? Um, I mean, it's it's a good pickup, but it's a little bit inefficient with exactly Mario Keeper. Usually, we want like the coin as well with this type of a hand. Right. Like if you innovate Mario Keeper, you have four mana the following turn. But mm -hmm. I guess in this matchup, if you like, you really want to have like some sort of like a nine drop like an XR scenarios in your hand already before you want to like ramp up with Nourish, unless you maybe have another one or you know some like sick Emperor turn. But um, oh, look at that Raven Idol from the Raven Idol. 
Just charging the yard. Yeah. Yeah. Powering up. Do you still innovate the minor keeper here? I mean, there are a lot of uh, lines you can take based off that innovate. I mean, the earlier you ramp, the better it is. So, and getting an extra coin every turn from two turn from turn two is is really really strong. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, speaking uh, of wild growths, <laughs> and he's got Fandral in his hand, so he can. It, I mean, the more mana crystals he has, the more explosive his hand can get. So uh, Zlay is able to answer ramp with his own. Yeah, that Fandral's gonna pop off this game. I don't even feel like that 3-3 is that threatening because that is a target. You have Wrath for it in the following turns, too. Mm. Delaying Wild Ghost just seems... It's all about the board really, this matchup. Really bad. Yeah. It's all about the board in this matchup. Like, if you are having all your tokens on the board and Drew, there's almost no answer. You can trade in. Uh, Drew doesn't have a combo anymore that you have to play around. Like, yep. maybe you have to play around 8 damage in the end of the game. That's the biggest amount. Delay is really thinking hard about this. What, what's, what else is he thinking about? Uh, there's think? nothing more. Maybe it's is just, he thinking maybe about how awesome of a Hearthstone player he is for drawing Wild Maybe Growth it's just a little bit the mind games also. Oh, like, that's true. I do like it. I will it. say, like, if there is somebody that can like tilt a little bit from it, that might be six so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true, yeah. You could maybe make him think that you uh, have, like, Innervate in your hand, too, just yeah. by stalling. I mean, like, just not even bluffing, just tilting six, so it's yeah. like, definitely a viable strategy. <laughs> it's a strategy I used last <laughs> time at the European Championship. Just keep roping and just making yeah, him like, wait. Yeah. One of the most common things probably in our Skype chat is just him complaining about people roping. So. Yeah. Oh, sick! Wow, that's a that's a really oh big weakness. I think if he yeah. really hates people roping, so she needs I mean, to do. I'm it, not sure so. how much it affects him, like play wise. Like if he would miss, I feel because a lot, but emotionally, definitely. I have played twice. I did it twice, and he twice missed lethal. So I really had okay. the feeling that it was like really <laughs> doing something. <laughs> that's too that's sick. That's how you beat him. The, the highest ranked player in the uh, world right now. It's just <laughs> his greatest weakness isn't playing, you know, bad decks or anything like unfortunate randomness. It's just a player taking his time to think through his plays. I was Raven Idol here, probably over uh, still. You have a curve too to follow up on turn five. Oh, okay. I don't mind. Yeah, call that being before. Kill and also still yeah. now happen. I mean, I don't think there was any two drop really changing it. Maybe like if you get. Maybe oh sort of like wow! Or... You can even get like a second Raven Idol off the Raven Idol. So mm. how, vi how valuable, is, viable is the Mali Ghost pick? I think it's super weak, actually. You rather have the Pirate Charger, dude? Because, I mean, even though it's uh, over I was thinking of the lens carrier. Like, maybe oh, okay. you have, like, a 3 or a fighter that can buff. I don't know. I... Oh, what about Mulch? Okay. Uh, no Mulch. Innovate. Oh, man. I mean, innovate with Mountain Lagos is pretty nasty, but he has no spells. Yeah, but it's All a right. 4 12. Let's, like, uh, let, I mean, okay, sorry. Go, go ahead. It's a 4 12 still, and you have, like, refs, swipes, uh, living but roots. 4 6 with charge is kind of, like, slightly weaker Doom Guard. Never 7 mana, though. It's, mm. it's kind of clunky. What do you think, Oskaka? Is the Mountain Lagos, yay or nay? I think I would pick the Malagos and the Innervate. Yeah, I will. If they, if, I will also pick the Innervate at least. Because you just want the ability to have Malagos swing the board, or just because Innervate's that good to help get you tempo. I mean, with Mulch, you're just kind of like hoping that he will play a big minion first. But with Innervate, you could just play your big minion first, and then you know if he doesn't have his, which is kind of likely, then like his his Mulch, um, then you really really take off from there. Mulch ends up being okay here. Ends up uh, working very well with the curve. Yeah, definitely. So, based off the way that it played out, ended up being correct. And... Black Knight? Ooh! I'm just kind of feeling like we haven't had one of those moments where Mulch gave the best answer possible. Like I... when like when Tice got a Ysera <laughs> off his Ysera mulched? Yeah, yeah, Do you know that I actually had to read the card again? Like, I knew it will work that way, but that, that was, was like a really, visual bug. It was still like, yeah. I haven't I haven't faced a death match at that time, and I was like, it doesn't like give the same minion back to your hand, right? It's or, just sapped. Yeah. yeah, it's not a sap, right? It has an effect that it isn't different minions. This was uh, championships? It was the, the qualified for oh, European yeah, championships. Oh, yeah, that was so funny, man. Yeah. I mean, actually, we did find, I did see one good mulch. Uh, Mr. Yagut was playing against, I think, RDU, and RDU mulched. Um, like a wolf, like a feral spirit wolf, and it turned into spellbreaker. And he just he played he played ancient of war and then uh, mulched it, and then the spellbreaker came out, and then Yagut had lethal, which was there, pretty. There funny. was even a bigger one happening to Zale, but uh, like he mulched uh, something from Radu, just a uh, minion, like an uh, I think it was a uh, three six guardian.
and, and then he mills and he gets the black, the 6-6 uh, six, six, uh, dragon. That, uh, <laughs> the dragon yeah. crusher right afterwards. And he afterwards. can't just play it right afterwards, <laughs> like, as a dragon even, like, it was oh, super sick. Oh, that's so funny. And then, yeah, where's your milch now? Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> where's your milch yeah. now? Is there any world where you uproot that? Uh, I kind of like sometimes the uproot, more and more. But this is not a matchup you want to do it, I think. Okay. What matchups do you want to uproot, then? Priest? Warrior. Warrior. Warrior is a matchup I do it more and more often. It's more than like about the state of the game, you know, if they're mm -hmm. very, if they have like zero cards in hand and you know. Like, but it, like so often like just having a five ten survive is like, you know, it's equally mm -hmm. game winning as having a, a ten five and they just have way more outs with Yeah. Also against your all those Twitter followers you would get for uploading. Yeah. Uh, also against your shaman, it is like one of the <laughs> weak links. <laughs> yeah. <Aww. laughs> I mean even there's like, you know, like spell power storm crack and stuff like that. It's true. Yeah, but or the, the destruction overload is <laughs> just like kills it. My the yeah. Sometimes you're overloaded, you have only like one or two mana, and then they're, it just, you know, it's surviving. It's true, it's man. Like, it's all true. <laughs> this has been uh, pretty one sided so far. It just seems like one player is just constantly getting uh, bullied down. Well, Sigjo had the faster star, but just after the warrior, just had nothing that he could really like play as a power turn. If there wasn't yeah. Onyxia scenarios, it might have been uh, going a bit different. Too many spells, man. Just needs he did have a nurse this game, right? For cards? No, but he used it for ramp, and I was also... Oh, he used it for ramp? Yeah, like, I was a bit curious about so it. So he used the nurse for, for ramp, it's, and he didn't pick up, like, Azure Drake or... It, it curved him into the warp, so it ma made made some sense, but it really made the uh, turns afterwards uh, weak. This Malagos might pay off first delay. Yeah, but... I think probably needs the Yogg's to win this game, right? Mm -hmm. Dude, the Yogg will be the only card that can save him, because... The Maligos coming down with double uh, living roots. You can also wait. You can like go to an Emperor Hero Power and then Maligos at ten, yeah. but just one living roots. Well, it's, it's, well I mean, Mal Maligos played mm -hmm. now and Maligos survives. Right. You just guarantee kill him with burn if, to the if base. If he plays Maligos, like the only answer six would have would be like a potentially Oxron or a, a Mulch, like right off the top, and like that says like how far ahead Zelay is in this matchup because he chose to not even go for that line. He thought this was a higher win percentage. Because uh, if his opponent did draw Yogg, at least he had a contingency plan, perhaps. Right, like this way he still can, like, Malagos and, and uh, Living Witch on the same turn. Raven Idol to Starfire? Well, Starfire kills at least a 5 6. I mean, you are at 11 lives, you are dying on boards now. Yeah. I don't know for one mana he could do anything else, though. And it's Ooh. one card that he needed. And unfortunately, he's not going to get the time. So the is going to end the game through a Maligos Living Roots <laughs> swag. This is amazing. I mean, he, he, he would just kill them with one Living Roots, regardless of the Maligos. Doesn't matter. But you swag on him. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, another, like, Druid just doing really well. Druid also beating a lot of Zeus uh, yesterday and worked here again. Now also the taking down the... It's 2-0. Yeah, it's 2-0. Wow. Now taking down the Druid so fast. itself. So fast. Cthune, Yogg, Druid. Next level meta. I mean... I mean, Yogg, Druid is good. Cthune, Druid is good. Yeah. So why not just put Yogg in the Cthune, Put your Druid. hands together. Yeah. Can't really argue with the results right now. Uh, Zelay is one game away from Six having a date two. with Life Coach in the winner's match. I'm kind of sad, man. I really wanted uh, Scott to drop some like serious knowledge bombs, but I don't think you spotted anything egregious so far, it's... right? I have a hard time dropping knowledge bombs like in the Druid mirrors and stuff like that. You know, oh, okay. maybe he's playing like Combo Warrior, Freeze Mage, or something like that. Oh, okay. The, the skill, the skill intensive decks. Is that what you want to say? Well, it's like I, I trust in like Slate to figure out a Druid. It's pretty interesting that Sixo didn't go for the mid range Shaman into the Druid. Do you think um, Druid into Druid is better? You, he thinks uh, Shaman is. Like, we I think traditionally, him? like like way 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 like several months ago, where whenever Midrange Shaman was played, then it was really good against Druid. But I don't don't even think that it's that good anymore. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Mm. <laughs> he's <laughs> already <laughs> salty. He's tilted. You said he's you so tilted. Six, so. No. <laughs> That's one way to tilt him. Oh, uh, here, hit him back, toad him, golem. Oh, uh, I was just feeling it, man. I actually don't really know. Before it was because of like Flame Tongue Totem and just I guess Druid just has like more card draw now. Like they can just draw three with Nourish instead. Like Ancient Lore was like the biggest card in the matchup, but now mm -hmm. they can just draw three instead. 
It was also the consistent early game. Like now, if you have a living roots, it just kills all the totems all the time if you right. don't deal with the living roots already. And Shaman from behind still has a problem. Even they have comeback mechanics pretty well, but they better snowball with cards like Hex are still more like snowball cards. Where and I think Druid also had like more, you know, card. Like I mean, they always ran like the combo, right? So, like that, you know, those are all situational cards, which can mean that Shaman just snowballs ahead on board when they have like Savage Roars and Force of Natures in their hand. Now it's just kind of art, all just board mm. control. All right, well, uh, no follow up. Ooh, one card away, man. I love it when you ref for one to like find something, and what do you find? There's the um, inner way to like get the two mana back you use for the ref. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Six so just got a pretty clean curve from here point on. Can use the flame tongue tone to help pick up trades. And Zelay still searching for a minion. Do you think uh, intervening the minion out here would be the best? Mm, also, like, kind of thinking of if it makes sense to, like, innovate the Katoon at turn 8. Um, okay. That's also something to think about, too. You kind of, like, Swipe is just still feels really weak here. Yeah. You don't even get the hero power in clean. You can also consider ramp, hero power. Like, you're going to get, uh, with the Norris ramp, you still gain two mana crystals, so you can hero power for that back. Yeah. Uh, going to seven because you ha your hand is really heavy in this uh, situation and this is a situation where I really won't mind uh, ramping with the nourish. I will for sure not draw here because then I feel I'm losing too much tempo. How yeah. do you think, Zoksaka? I think it's pretty close. I mean, like you have the swipe, right? So like, how do you really like lose this game? And I think it goes pretty late. Uh, I, d I don't play many Shaman, but I think this match actually goes pretty late. Yeah, it does. It definitely feels like it often becomes a resource battle, right? As opposed to battle like battle of attrition, you know, yeah. Kind of as opposed to like one just ending the game very early. But I also don't know like how Zelay's deck is built. Like generally, the greedier your, your deck is, the more you can go for for the ramp. And he does have double well, ten drop yeah. in the deck, so he does have that Yogg's run. Right. So. Also, Arakoa with hero power is still pretty good to kill the three one. If there is not a Tonto, then <laughs> Tonto that makes it a bit rough. Yeah, Taunt Toto makes it really rough. Well, especially when Dark Arakoa wanted to come down. Still a really strong turn here. Oh, yeah, with the swipe, innervate Arakoa, you really get strong on board. You kill the Moss Power, and there is still um, another one to follow it up into either the Twin Emperor or the Katoon. Like the next three turns from Zalei are going to be really strong. How big is that? 9-9. Nine, oh, nine. Nine, nine. Okay, not enough for the, so, uh, the Twin Emperor. But yeah, you, you want to play one this turn, so you can play the second one afterwards, and then. Uh, with the follow-up of Katoon to an Emperor, it's going to be really rough for six. So, And you see already that the first one is a problem. <laughs> and so there, the, the three biggest ones are still coming. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really... Uh, I mean, you could squeeze in Thing from Below. Yeah, the Thing from Below is... I mean, with the Flame Totem and then Hero Power, they are going to be one mana. Yeah, that's so crazy. It's just that this... Uh, it's so awkward, this trade. Like... There is not even a trade. Maybe you don't make a trade, but you swipe and you just play the thing from below to challenge it as 7-5 against the 5-7. I would probably play Flame Totem, Hero Power, trade the Town Totem in maybe, because I feel it's a weak link as a 0-1. And then um, play one thing from below, uh, making the taunt. Okay. So he trades it in for the chance that he gets another uh, Taunt Totem. Yeah, this is the play I like the most. Cool, great positioning. As it, so it slides in immediately to the, the, the Searing Totem as well. And uh, Zelay does have the way to fill out the curve with Dark Arakoa and the Twilight Elder. Hero power also still uh, reasonable here um, to kill off like either the Horse Ride or the Flame Totem. Not sure if I will uh, go with the Twilight Elder. Yeah, I like this a little bit more because you trade uh, some stuff away. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, otherwise uh, you donate yeah. the Arakoa, for exactly. sure. Any value in killing the totem now? I guess you're not afraid of Thunder Bluff just yet. Which totem? The Searing Totem. You kill the Searing Totem. So, oh, over uh, the Horse Rider. Yeah, over the Horse Rider. Now, it's it, actually a little bit, but he can actually Thunder Bluff and Hero Power on the same turn. Right. It's also, if there's four attack left, it's dies to a rock biter or dies to like a lightning bolt. Like it gets yep. a bit to the point where three damage is so often in Shaman's deck. Also, Fire Elemental being a really relevant card, it 
just feels that it dies too often. Scary board for yeah. Zelay to face. If only he had a minion so that could Katoon do the, damage. Yeah, Katoon at the moment is 12-12. Um, and if he... I mean, the Twin Emperor doesn't buff it anymore. Yeah. Kind of forced to make this first trade, I think. Okay, so there's 10 health on board if he makes the immediate trade yeah. and then plays the Cthulhu. That doesn't seem very reliable. Yeah, likely to that. It seems likely. very unlikely that the Thunderbluff would die. Right, because you, you can even kill off the 1 1 and increase the chances that you hit face based off the. the I'm also distance. a pretty big fan of, like. Okay, I guess Lily isn't. I was going to say that you want to like play other stuff first for the Shum to Hex, like force him to use and then win, just win with Cthulhu. Wow, oh, that was. So... Oh, wow. Yep. Wow. I'm really not sure about this. I mean, oh, rolling. Oh, man. Rolling five. It looks really bad, but like hitting yeah. the hitting the oh. thing from the five times is kind of like optimistic. Four right? times is wow. already above average. Like, oh, I can't watch anymore. My I guess, heart. I guess was he was hoping to kill the flame tongue, right? So then he didn't have to, like. Yeah. 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 He didn't have to face a seven attack. But six oh. doesn't have the hex. Ouch. Zay's gonna wake up in the morning still feeling sore of that one. Dang. Mm, so. That's, like a, that's like a two beers type of drink, man. Just, the one's not enough. <laughs> Waiter! <laughs> Get this man your finest pale ale. Um, so we I mean, have to say that Zelay is actually already dropping quite low. I mean, you have five damage on board, you can buff yeah. uh, the flame tongue to four. What were the chances of him actually sniping the flame tongue totem? It well, there four, minions. Four, four minions on board. You have face. So yeah, have but five one of them charges. would have died instantly. Five targets, twelve damage. You have to, five. I would have to bust out my hyper geometric calculator for that. So even if you, I mean, the odds change depending if you kill other stuff. That's yeah, if you kill the one one, it's really but, hard to calculate exactly. But, but there are five minions, or there are four minions with face. You have five targets yeah. with twelve damage. You average deal two. There wasn't one HP uh, totem, so it's kind of like kind of close to like. Um, fifty percent, I would say, because close to fifty. Yeah, because you, there's a three HP minion and you have twelve damage. Probably something like that. Five nah, targets. Right, I trust you guys on this. Yeah, yeah. You it's, guys are way better at you, this you, than you, I am. You average hit bo hit more than two, but not three. So it's it's like really close. Raven Idol picks a second Living Roots almost instantly. Instant pick. Didn't get well, to see his other choices. Really. It seems it's pretty very, very strong here. Yeah, the double Living Roots with also developing the Twin Emperor. Yeah, and he can snipe the other Thunderbolt Valiant. Do and you, all of a sudden, you need Hex to kind of come back on the board. Do here. you trade? You trade, right? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, you have Lethal next turn if you go face. Yeah. Uh, but no, no, it, you don't have Lethal because he would just kill one of the. Right, with the hero power. That's a hex. That, the hex was really necessary to keep him in this game. And yeah. um, It's a little one turn too uh, late, but still really can find his you use, think so? of course. I, mean, I, think, I think Six is actually ahead from this position. I mean, very ahead, right? Like He's up in the resource count because he has Azure Drake. I mean, and his opponent's just at 6 HP. Oh, you're right. I, didn't, I forgot about that. So Lay's hand is just like, I mean, he, what does he need? Like Yogg-Saron? Oh, if there was just... If he could just pass the taunts. Yeah. Well, I mean, if he has pass the taunts, he had lethal before he even drew that. He had rock fighters. So. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, we well, definitely hex that. There's no question <laughs> about it. I was actually thinking about just playing the Tuscar and rock fighting. To yeah, kill I kind of like that too. Like killing one of the four six and another living roots. Not bad. Snipe the 4-2. Keep uh, the minion had higher health on board. This is your last minions in hand. Uh, these these two 4-6s yeah. and the Twilight Elder. And they played also already like all the valuable cards. The double Arakoa, the Twin Emperor, the oh, Katoon. Yuxeron. Yeah, Yuxeron. Yeah, the, the weird cousin of the family. Do you hear its call? Well, Twilight Elder is actually kind of the weird cousin of the family. He's got... He's, he doesn't look like he fits like a Cthulhu minion at all. But it is what it is. Tuscar Totemic comes down. Comes the man Ooh, to that's actually, I think, the better Ooh. one. The best one that you could get because Totem Golem is not the... Yeah, yeah, it definitely was. Yeah. Yeah, he gets sniped by the 4-6. Should we clear one of the, the taunts? The 4-2 shall be killed here, I would say. 
Not sure if Rock Biter. Because uh, he has Alec here in the deck. So he can use the Rock Biter Alec here combo. Perhaps Doom Hammer as well. Depends on what he has. I think Sixa told me he doesn't play Doom Hammer. Okay, so the, the Alec here is such. There's an Ashore, but he picked up Hex from the. Oh my god, wow. that Hex is going to. From the Manatide. Saleh feeling pretty happy probably about this draw, but the Hex is really going to crush his dreams. Yeah, uh, Hex is one of the strongest cards against Druid for Tempo. And the fact that he can draw another card on top of it, because if he, if he didn't have the mana side, he'd be drawing Hex and then hero powering and not really doing much on the board. But as such, he'll be able to draw another card, perhaps another, develop another threat. The combat afterwards, um, definitely want to kill Mana Tide Totem. Probably also kill the, the Tunnel Trog too. Do you uproot it? No. Never. Do uproot. I uproot? Are you I, asking me or are you asking Zelay? Because I, I, I uproot every time. I will, I will not uproot here because <laughs> Lightning Storm with like something else gets a bit weak. All right. Yeah, but you get to uproot. Yeah, you get to uproot, and if your opponent doesn't, you're like looking at no a potential balls. kill. Plus, if he had Hex, he has Hex anyways. <laughs> right? Yes. I mean, think about all the Twitch eye points, though, that you get when you Yeah, uproot. dude. Think of all the bits and cheers you would get if that was enabled on this channel. <laughs> all right, well, well... the truck is a kind of a weak draw here. Yeah. And still the traits are like... That was the worst draw, I think, minion-wise. Like, there's nothing else that has lower impact than the tunnel truck right now. Yeah, maybe if there are squires that are also not really relevant. Um, I think the rock biter has to get used to your, like... Clear the killing four, the 4-6 six. Six and 4 now. <laughs> what a sad state of affairs. And, you know, Elskaka was right on the money. This battle, this, uh, battle went down to the resource count here. And both players will be looking for things they can help draw. Nourish would be great. Oh. oh, wow. He's hoping for the Alk here. What? Whoa. All right, do you uproot this one? <laughs> uproot, go. Uproot! Oh, uh. boo. There's no way. Okay, first of all, you're going to clear the board. Well, double hex is gone, so it's and double be... hex is gone, and you have a taunt already. I don't know, man. I will probably trade everything still. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely trade. I mean, I don't blame. If I was playing, I'd probably play as a. Fan. I mean, I will. He has used two hexes. Like, there's. I know, but like that. This is probably like a 100% win lane, almost like. What is what is six five, even has five used, ten? He used well, double thunderbolt I'll, already. I'll look, I'll look here with rock biter. I mean, it's a one for one in that case. Yeah. No, actually, but Raul, then you're very far ahead. Yeah. After that happens. Taunt totem? No. Needs to draw something magical here. Still so close, but so far. That second Ancient of War is nasty. So nasty. Yeah, it was a lot of sequence. Like, you know, Zalei was drawing really, really good cards, and Zixo was drawing, like, really poor cards. And that's looking very close to a 3-0 here for Zalei, unless Sixo. Has some magical card that we're not mm -hmm. expecting. Even Katoon's Chosen is more than fine to pick up here. Still a really strong follow up in this in this case. Because there is like the lightning storm doesn't kill it and it's a little bit weak against everything. And there is actually a lightning storm pickup now for six so but not really clean at all. Just yeah. not good even, like <laughs> maybe if you pick up like, another one next turn. Imagine if that was an uprooted Ancient of War. He would have won. Oh right my god, the second uh, Norish now. All the big minions are out. Druid's 3 0 man. Draw. Oh, is that it? I, I think feel 6-0 is he done. I think 6-0 yeah. is. Uh, oh, GG's. Mm -hmm. That's going to be yeah. clean sweep with a Cthune Yogg Druid. Yeah. It's Slay. like uh, yesterday also, like, Druids are just performing really, really well here. Yeah. I I'm thought Druid a little bit would be surprised the deck tournament. Uh, like, there's almost no one going into a, a banned druid strategy. Like, they're all, like, banning warrior or banning impossible. shaman or banning... Yeah. People are still, I like... I thought about it for a long time with a few other people, and just so hard. You can't ban druid and leave up, like, warrior, shaman, warlock open. Mm -hmm. ah, but unless they, you're... They, uh, are, they are comfortable. Like, druid <laughs> unless is just, you're a paladin player that can just druid, sweep everything. Druid. Right, druid, like, druid just has all of its matchups, like, gravitate towards, like, 50%, because it's more dependent on what the druid draws. Right. Um, so it's, like, you can't really counter it well, I yeah. guess. So it's just really hard deck to counter, and um, yeah, you see it here just doing yeah. really well. Like, it has a lot of like slightly favored matchups, I feel, yeah. a lot. But you're also never like super, super weak to Druid. It's not like mm -hmm. Druid had some like 70% matchup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, 
Yeah, I think you're right. I, don't, I, don't, I can't think of anything off the, the top of my head. Uh, we're waiting for Zelay to come over here so yeah. he can uh, chat with us for a brief interview. First, he was collecting the salt from Sixo. Hello. How you doing, Zelay? Doing great. Feels good, man. Feels good. You're uh, the only NA player in your group, I believe. Correct? Uh, Team Horus. Team Horus. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, all the, a lot of the NA players have been falling, except for four of us in the top 16. Why do you think that is? Well, uh, with time zones, it's, it's always tough to travel across an ocean and play well. You're tired. Do you think it's a coincidence that two of the people who arrived here early to adjust the time zone is also through to the round of 16? Are, are we trying to uh, talk about how you're also <laughs> in the round of 16? Good no, job, bro, I'm, trying to, just bring it up. I'm trying to talk about how you're playing really well and uh, how you're winning and a lot of the NA players are falling and people are kind of memeing EU greater than NA type of stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, the home turf advantage is, is very real. It's not just crowds cheering like in sports. It's uh, you're tired and Hearthstone's yeah. a 100% like, a mental game. So to have to deal with the fatigue of jet lag, it's it's a big problem. That's true. I think there might just be like way more EU players here as well. So it's just like you know, you should look at the percentage and not like the amount of yeah. players, I guess. There's like five or six more EU players in NA, I think. Okay. Something like that. Those wild growths on two, those are uh, those pretty, pretty nasty. high percentages as well. Yeah, pretty nasty. What inspired you to bring uh, Cthulhu Yog? Say it was a meme. That it, it's a, it's a bit of a meme. Uh, it's a bit of a meme. It's, I don't think it's 100% uh, optimal, but I think it's close enough that I can play it and feel okay about it. And it's mm -hmm. a fun deck. I mean, okay, I have a bigger, better question. How many times have you played Yogg and, in, in, in this deck, in this tournament? How many times have I played Yogg in this deck, in this tournament? Yeah. I certainly don't remember that. I don't remember. Have you played it more than one, zero times? Have you actually played Yogg one time? I've definitely played Yogg. Because I know, I think some player, I, I want to say, I don't remember who, but I think it was like Death or something. He like played a token druid, the Yogg druid, mm -hmm. and then just didn't play Yogg the entire tournament and won the tournament. Yeah, I mean that can happen when you're winning. Sometimes you don't need to Yogg. Uh, sometimes easy life, just wild growth, curve out, yeah. win. But uh, it, the Yogg's an important part of the deck. A lot of games really? go long. You okay. have to play it. Okay, okay. Just wanted to get that. All right, do you have any questions, Tice? What's cock? Did you ever like rope to like? Try and tilt Sixo. Was that ever a thing? The wild yeah. growth on two. Yeah. We yeah. were we were talking about it. And we... I, I was seriously considering wrath. It wasn't that obvious mm -hmm. to me. Okay. 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 Fair um, enough. What do you think about life coach? What are your chances of going up against him? Uh, life coach is always a tough opponent. Uh, I think last time we played, he beat me. Uh, so I'm looking for revenge. All right. Mm -hmm. Looking for revenge. Also for uh, Team Horrors, because we need to win some points. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Zelay, congratulations on your win. Hopefully you continue to go on. Uh, and that's, from, that's it from us here on the couch for the second series. We're going to go straight into the third series right after this break. Don't go anywhere, guys.